So today, let's take a few moments and just get centered and bring ourselves to the present moment. And we'll do that by taking some breaths. And while we are taking some breaths, we'll ask to bring all of our thoughts, our energy from the future to the present, the past to the present, so that we can be completely in the now moment. And as we do this, our breath starts to deepen, our energy start to expand, and we are more open to the experiences that are upcoming for us. We ask to be open for any clarity for today's session and today's experiences. So today, we will talk about making a mess. These passages are taken from the book 52 Pick Me Up, a weekly inspirational roadmap to inner awareness. Making a mess. We've all made messes in our lifetimes. We've had the opportunity to make physical messes, emotional messes, relationship, and even artistic ones. Some messes we enjoy making and others we don't. Sometimes we don't even know we're making a mess until we find ourselves standing in the middle of it, literally or figuratively. Some of us really dislike messes, especially when we are the ones who need to clean it up. Keep in mind, there are times when making a mess is quite necessary, like that of a messy diaper or a messy kitchen after a home-cooked meal or a messy room full of half-empty boxes after a move or in preparation of a move. We seem to get so caught up in the work needed in cleaning the mess, we don't always take the time to analyze or appreciate the mess. What if we were to take time viewing the mess and feeling what went behind it, determining the reasons for the mess? Was the mess created through fun and laughter? Was it bred with creativity and passion? Was it a necessary release? Or is the mess an end result of greed, laziness, manipulation, or selfishness? In all we do, we have the opportunity to make a mess. Messes may certainly be part of our lives. Sometimes we need to create a sort of disruption of order to maintain an appreciation of that order. Similar to a spool of thread, we can unravel a spool of thread and we can ravel it back up if we want, or we can cut what we've unraveled and use it. We can learn to do the same with our perceived messes. Do we ravel them back up and periodically unravel it again? Or do we make use of the mess that's laid out in front of us and weave it into something beautiful? Let's discuss some reflection questions. Consider a time when you came across a mess, literally or figuratively. It could be a relationship mess, a messy room. Were you discouraged? Were you angry? Or did it bring laughter to you? Do you understand now or did you then? Did you understand what went behind the mess, the reasons for it? The next time you're confronted with a mess, take a few moments to consider all that went behind creating it. Then determine if you would like to prevent a mess like this from happening again, or if you would like to support its evolution. If you would like to do either, consider how you can better support a mess's evolution or prevent a mess from happening in the future. The affirmation for today is I understand that messes occur and take the time to understand their existence as it pertains to me. I understand that messes occur and I take the time to understand their existence as it pertains to me. I understand that messes occur and take the time to understand their existence as it pertains to me. Thank you for joining in. I am Pamela from Soul Angel. Enjoy the rest of your day.